Hi everyone, in this video we will cover how to install a APK file on a virtual device using automation script. So in the last videos we have covered how to install a APK file on a virtual device or on a real device using desired capabilities and APM's desktop server. In this video we will cover how to install the same APK file using automation script. So for that open Eclipse then go to file new project here select maven project click on next here select this create a sample project click on next here you can mention the group id as com.qa.apm dot qa.apm and click on finish now we have this project ready so to work with the apm we will need certain libraries so we can manually download those jar files and add using the this build path we can configure build path and add those external libraries but in this video we will cover we will see the uh, we will add our dependencies using maven in this form.xml so for, during the installation process we have used the maven so we need certain dependencies with the apm like we will require a selenium java so version is 3 point this we will also need test ng you can install the test ng dependency or you can install the test ng using eclipse marketplace so you can go here and you can search for the test ng and you can install the test ng from this option as well other than that we will need java client library to work with the apm and we will need extend reports so along with the test ng report if you want to generate some beautiful uh, test reports so you can use the test ng so i will download all these dependencies now so copy this and I will paste it here. Save this and it will take a couple of minutes to download these all dependencies. Now we can go to this src test java. Here we can create one new package. So click on this, select this new others here search for package. click next and i will give the package name as com.qa.testcases click finish inside this package i will create one class here we under java you can select class and you can give the class name as launch demo click finish so we have this package and this class so inside this class we need to write our code for launching the app on our virtual device so i have this code ready with me and i will explain this code to you i will copy this and paste it here so now as we are working with the test ng we will create one test method and we'll uh, denote that this method is our test case with the at the rate test annotations so we have declared this class like public class launch demo and inside that we have created this test method named apm test and here we have added this two uh, exceptions with the throws clause so these two can get through during the execution so this is for the we have already imported this so if you can see here we have declared our package name we are using test ng so we have imported this you can see here uh, we have declared this using java.net.mal 
found URL exception and java.net.url. So we are using this URL as well here. Other than that, we will be uh, using the desired capabilities. So in the last videos, we have covered the desired capabilities manually. So we were having our desired capabilities in our APM server desktop. Here, we will go through the code and we will also require these classes Android Diva and mobile capability time. So now inside this method, first we need to have the desired capability setup. So we will create one object of this. So we have declared desired capabilities cap equals to new desired capabilities. And we are setting the capabilities using this set capability method. Here we are using this mobile capability type. So here under this class, we have different declarations. So we have declared our device name, platform version, automation name, and we have other properties as well. So in this video, we will be require device name and the app to install. So we have set our first desired capabilities that, that is like our emulator triple five four which is our android device now i will open my android studio here you can click on the virtual device manager and you can launch the device so i have created this device for the testing purpose so i will launch it and also i will start my apm server so go to your APM server desktop. Here we have host port and zero and port number 4723. Start the server and it is listening on this port. So now we can check whether this is working successfully or not. We can open command from and here run this command ADP devices. So now we can see emulator triple five four is connected so now go to your automation script here we can see like we have set the capability device name as emulator triple five four and now we have to mention the path of the app that we are installing so here i will create a new folder inside this project so new other here you can go into the general and select folder and project name as applications. Finish. Inside these applications, I need I will be having the actual APK file which I want to install on this virtual device. So I have this apk file i will copy it and i will paste it in this application folder so now you can see i have written this line of code so cap cap dot save capability mobile capability dot app which is referring to this app and we have given this system dot get property user dot directory so it will start from here it will go to the applications and then it will search for this apk file then we have the third capability that is auto grant permissions as true so during the initial uh, installation process you can see like certain apps they require a camera permission or the audio permission to uh, work out their functionalities so to grant those permissions we have written this code so it will automatically grant those permission to the app which you are installing then we are creating the our driver reference so we are uh, writing this code android driver driver equals to new android driver here we have directly created the url in such a way here uh, uh, we have written 0000 you can also uh mention here 127001 so you can uh, give the address as 410 or 127001 as a local host 
your port number should be 4723 here you need to mention slash wd slash hub which is a part of your uri here in slash wd stands for web driver and you are passing these desired capabilities here as well and i will be having thread dot sleep of five seconds and after that we will terminate our web driver session this uh, android driver session so now we have our device ready and we have the desired capability set where we have the device is also running and we have this apk file present at this path as well now uh, as our pong.xml file we have mentioned the test ng so we can run this as a test ng so you can go to this path from here you can right click and run as test ng or directly you can click on this page and run as test ng and you can check the execution here so for the first time it will install some apm uh, services on this virtual device and you can see it has successfully launched this app as well so it has installed this app and it waited for around 5 seconds and then our session got terminated and if you want to check you can go to this virtual device you can click here and you can check this automate app is installed on this virtual device similarly if you want to install the same app using this automation script on your real devices you just need to connect to this your real device you have to mention that device name here and uh, you can run it so no need to change the other code just you need to make sure that your device is successfully connected here and it is shown here and you need to pass that uh, same device name here so similarly you can install the this app on your real device as well